I talked to y'all tonight. I'm looking for some strippers for a strip party. Y'all ready? Did you say that shit just two seconds ago? We said no. I was talking to y'all. Mother you motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Sisters of Game. I'm Jay. I'm Big Pimpy. And thank you for tuning in to another episode of Emily's Christmas Carol. I can hear y'all laughing. Stop it. We gonna play this motherfucker till it's done. Damn it. Or until a new one come out. Shit. Okay. <laughs> I don't even like those little elves on top of the barber poles. That just fucks me up. I don't like looking at their little stupid faces. Okay. I. You know what? I can't say that I trust. But let me see. Is Girl, let me tell you about my dumbass coworker. Why are you doing all this? Do, you, do, I was checking to see if there was an extra game or something, but I guess it's just one. Okay. One per game. Don't be greedy. They can't be putting extra shit in all the time. I know. I'm just checking. And I can't know. handle another reindeer level. They are too demanding. <laughs> Girl, she wrote a nasty letter to the hospital. Did I tell you any of this story? Uh, No, but I'm going to play while you tell me. You play. You I'm going to talk. The, you want to do the skit and then you tell okay, me? Okay, yeah. Okay. Because y'all going to laugh when I tell you this story. You're the mama. I'm the little bratty child. Oh, oh. <laughs> what was her voice? I don't remember. How about a nice choo-choo train, Bradley? Mm. Well, then, perhaps a wooden pedal car? Fuck that car. I should give you uh, weapons, but I am <laughs> too weak-willed to do that. Where are the gloves I bought you? You didn't lose them already, did you? How the heck should I know where they are? Oh, I know every mother out there in the audience is about to chomp at the bit, wondering why I'm not punishing you, my son. Why don't you just go buy me some more gloves and shut up? You got glove money, you little motherfucker? You got glove money? <laughs> you gonna work in this store to pay it back? I'm sorry. Oh, poor me. You raised that little tyrant. Mm. There's always one like that. Mm -hmm. Damn. That kid is, that kid needs an ass with her for Christmas. He got switches and coal. Switches and coal. Santa don't play that. He mm -hmm. should get switches mm -hmm. and coal. That's all he needs. All right. I'm ready to play. You tell your story while I'm playing. Okay. Bitch I work with. Your table. And she puts the B in Biddy. Okay. She just complains and cranky for no reason. Okay. I mean unpleasant. People stop me in the hall and tell me how unpleasant she is. I'm Never so check sorry out for just one person at a time. I already fucked this level up. Try <laughs> again. Make All them right. wait. Yeah. Play like you and not me. I had a problem this level. Got to light them up. Make them wait. Gotcha. Go ahead. Okay. So over the weekend, she hurt her finger. And I believe she cut her finger by crushing the skin. Ow. Don't feel sorry for it. It was just a pinky, you know? That's a pinky I'm using, though. I mean, shit. But don't feel sorry for her because she's mean. Okay. Don't feel sorry for her. She's mean. Okay. So she goes to the ER okay. with bloody rags to staunch the bleeding because she's bleeding. Ugh. She needs some stitches. But she goes to the ER. And she gets mad because, you know, they ask her, what does she want? Now I'm like, they always ask you what you want. They're not going to guess because if you tell them that your toe is broke, they're going to know to get a psych consultation too. You know? Uh -huh. That's just how hospitals are. They don't assume shit. I swear you think they're dumb, but they don't assume. When I got a procedure done... Everybody I met asked me if I was getting done. I'm like, y'all know what I'm getting done. And he said, we're going to ask you until you get knocked out, too. So to keep you, like, focused or something? I don't know. It was their protocol. He said, until you're on the table. And I was on the table. He was still asking me what I was there for. I guess they were trying to make sure that's their safety check to make sure they're not going to do the wrong thing on the wrong person. Right. Because the records could be wrong. So they asked me, 
everything matches up, everything's good. Anyway, they asked her what she wanted. So she got smart and she was mad because, you know, they weren't all falling all over each other because, you know, when you're in the ER, they used to seeing some serious wounds and her little teeny baby gash that needed maybe two stitches wasn't gonna, you know, blow their skirts up. Right. That's just, y'all been to an ER? Then a, one time I was in the ER and I thought, you know, I was king shit there. You know, my, you know, my, you know, tech guy was having a real bad migraine. And then the dude came in, another dude came in. Uh-huh. That motherfucker had some shit in his eye. And when I say he had some shit in his eye, I mean, when he moved his hand, you could see a fucking foreign object God damn. out of his eye. So when they asked him what he wanted, he said, I'm trying to meet my doctor down here. His doctor met him at the ER to remove this shit from his eye. That's I don't know up. if it was metal or wood, but it was like fucking something sticking out of his eye. Oh my God. Yeah. So that's the kind of shit they're used to dealing with at the ER. You know, people's bones sticking out. You know, they do other things too, but you're not going to impress nobody at the ER with a little fucking baby gash. Right. No. Okay. So she got all bent out of shape about it. Then they finally take her back to the stitch room and she is mad. Okay. I ain't lying. They sewed her stitches up on the left side instead of the right. Not the left hand instead of the right side of the wound. I can see you buggling. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know wounds had sides. First of all, let's start there. Okay. Second Don't of all, stitches go right down the middle? Sometimes, okay. You, you, okay. Let me explain this to you. Cause I, 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 Why are you pausing? You got to talk. I can't, because they're dying. I got to start the world over anyway. Well, start over. Start. Okay, but. We ain't got time for you to pause. You got to talk and do this. I'm confused. You're not confused. I'm trying to show you. You you have a dominant hand. So when you're sewing, when you're sometimes the knot can go to this side. Like if you're left-handed and you pull it tight, it might go. You, have you ever tied your shoelaces? Yeah. Okay, you know how sometimes when you tie that knot, it'll be on the side where that your right hand is, so the knot will be on the right I side? I ain't never seen a doctor do that. This shit's always in the middle because they tie it in the middle most of the time. Sometimes they don't. Okay. okay. I think I can, I might be able to pull this off. So she got mad. No. Let's try Because that. he tied it on the wrong side. What side does she want it tied on? I Just right down the middle? The or? right instead of the left, or the left instead of the right. And then he put on the glue, you know, that, that glue to glue the skin together? Uh-huh. That stuck her fingers together. I'm like, it does that. Get the fuck over it. That's the way that shit works. Why was he putting it on? Why was he doing stitches and that? The nurse told him that's what he's supposed to do. And I was thinking the same thing you're thinking. You either get glue or stitches. Why do you get both? You don't need both. Why, why was it exposed to her other finger that it stuck her fingers together? I don't know. She also lies. Oh, well. She's okay. a liar. She she's lies. a liar then. So I don't trust nothing she says. But on top of that, now she's in the room and they brought other things in there, but she didn't end up using them. They wanted to do an x-ray because of how she cut her hand. But she said, I can bend my finger. I can. I don't need that. And I'm like, you know what? You can still bend a broken bone. It depends on how the bone is broken. Yes. If you didn't break the joint, you can, bo- you can move the limb. I know because tech guy... Y'all ain't gonna believe this shit. I have to show you x-rays. He crushed the tip of his ring finger. And it pulled the nail bed. Your nail bed, if you look at your hand, your Mouse. nail bed don't start that little circle back there. Your nail bed actually goes way back further than your finger than you think. I know, because I saw that motherfucker when he broke his finger, right? He had right. to get an x-ray. The tip of his ring finger, he broke in three different places. Because he crushed it. So what they did was his nail was pulled back. It it reminded me of a car hood. Okay. From the tip of the finger, they took a little sewing thread, put it through the nail because they were taking that fucker to fuck off anyway. And they cranked it up so they could work underneath the nail bed. And they want that nail bed, the nail to be out of the way. And they took like little forceps and stuck it in there and lined his little bones up. And Yikes. that's all they could do for him. And then they sewed it all back together and told him, you may never grow a nail again. And we're like, fuck the nail. Can he, can can he use his hand? Can, can he use his face? He's going to lose the tip? What the fuck? 
right? Fuck the nail. Every doctor said he, and he didn't lose the nail. It looks a little strange. It doesn't look bad. You'd have to really know what you're looking for to see it. But it looks fine. He didn't lose the nail after all. Anyway, they wanted her to get an x-ray. And she said, well, I don't need it. Blah, blah, blah. And then she made the nurse come into the room and mark everything she did not use because she wasn't going to pay for it. What? Now, maybe to the people who pay out of pocket, that would matter. She's on government insurance. She pays a copay no matter what. It's the same copay. So it didn't cost her anything extra. That's messed up. Yeah, and this nurse is going through putting stickers on shit. Really? See, that's why can't nobody get no service at the ER. You fucking around like that. I would have told her to stuff that sticker up her ass. And on top of that, she wrote a letter complaining to the hospital about her treatment. Well, obviously, the, her treatment was just so bad. I wanted to stick my foot up her ass and make her shut up so bad. Do I know this person? Mm mm. You ain't never. You might have seen her. She always looked like she's sucking on a lemon. Oh, okay, uh, maybe. And she got no hair. Mm. Her hair is so thin you can see her skull, scalp. She ain't got like a wall of hair like you got. You got some beautiful thick hair. She cut her hair like that. That bitch would look bald. So if if she got my hair cut, she'd look bald. She the kind of woman that need that spray that men get. <laughs> <laughs> you mean if one has this spray paint? You know, the kind that you got a bald man, you put the spray on it, and now all of a sudden he got hair. She need that shit. That's just... It's she paint. looks like she has male pattern baldness. It's paint. You know what? You could, Women could have that. It's called alopecia. She looks... She got it. <laughs> all over her whole head. She just got really baby fine hair. Lord don't let it grow out because she she would look like Riff Raff. Can, <laughs> can you see through it like that chef? That, yeah. That chef I don't like. That blonde. That man. bitch has more hair. You make my head itch. Are these the last two? So in the lab you have to deal with lice. Oh God, no. Well, not in my portion. So you don't test for that? No. That's wonderful. Do you test for scabies? No. Gonorrhea, syphilitis. Yeah. Chlamydia. Yeah. Infectious disease. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> All right, here we go. Dad. Dad. Yo. Why that motherfucker so mean? Because he need his ass beat. That's why. <laughs> Give it to me for five minutes. Give it to me for five minutes. I will straighten him out. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Francois, we don't talk about beating children. So what we're trying to say is he needs a lot of timeouts. Bradley really needs an ass whipping. No, no. Bradley really needs... I can't even say this shit with a straight face. Bradley is a lonely kid. I, I gotta be serious. Sometimes these little kids are mean like this. They really do need a friend. And they're acting out. I can't be this motherfucker's friends if he's gonna break off disrespect to me like that. I might have to beat his ass. That's what Paige just said. Oh, yeah. Well, sometimes they do need a kid to, you know, get him in line. You need to get in formation. Yeah, I might. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. She's playing the ball. Okay, so 42. Don't stand still for why. That's easy. I'll do that in a second. Let's do 44 first. Uh, do I have All these toys are freaking bucks. me out. What can I get? Earn more points. Make the train go faster. I don't really need that. These these these, these toys are freaking me out. I don't like their fast. faces. Look at that. The mouths are too wide. I think they're gonna come and get me. No, they're not that bad. They're gonna come and get me. They're not gonna come and get you. I promise. Come and get me. They're not gonna come and get you. I promise. He's, he's gonna bite like he's. Ah! No. Oh, we got a lot of kids here. Where'd they they're come happy, from? Happy, 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 happy. Stupid. Ah. 
Ah, you suck. Who hurt you, Bradley? Who hurt you? That really sucks. I'm not one of those stupid wooden horns. Bradley, dear, why, why don't we go outside? I can show you. I want pizza and it's gonna have to have pineapples on it, cause I don't, I won't eat it if it don't have pineapples, and I don't even like you. You're a monster, Bradley. Pineapple on pizza? Oh my God, who raised you? Oh, that would be me. <laughs> Let me have them for a minute, dear. I'm from the old school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm refraining from talking about Santa's sex shop. I didn't say anything about that, dear. But, um, they do have whipsies. Yeah, see, that's what I was thinking. A gimp mask, you know, like in a... We don't have no... That's fiction. disgusting, no! I'll just go bring back a paddle or two. Well, yeah, do that. Get that shit. Okay. Now, what was what, what, what what's I supposed to do here? Get six quick bonuses. Oh, you should be able to knock that out like that. Yeah, right. Okay. What? That bitch walks so fast. Why she even need a cane? Right? It ain't even she touching the ground. It. Yeah, she just holding the cane for the cane for fashion. Two balls. That's one. Oh, I'm gonna be looking for the mo use. Yeah, look for that motherfucker. He's hard to find. Mo use. Mo, mo, Stitches mo, mo, on the mo, wrong mo, side. Mo, that don't even make sense. Don't it? That sounds so stupid. I'm just glad they can fix me up. I don't ever complain about, oh, you use a, a 38 needle instead of a 20. Oh, I want this with white thread and not black. Stitches on the wrong side. You use French knots instead of half twists. Give a fuck. <laughs> time I, do they fucking I wanted job. the melty. No, I don't want that. I don't want that. I want this. You know, don't no. tell them how to do their job. The mouse is on the stairs. I don't see no fucking mouse. He's gone now, but where the train goes under, that's where the mouse pops up. You got no quick bonuses out of these fuckers. Oh, Emily's cleaning. Oh, oh thank God, I Emily. I knew she'd be in charge soon. You can't go nowhere without Emily taking over. I need a boy in a wagon and a horse in a wagon. A horse in a wagon is so weird. Well, how about the boy on the horse with the wheels? You don't think that's weird? No. The horse in the wagon, is, it makes no sense. <laughs> well, maybe it's the, offensive. Maybe the horse is handicapped. <laughs> that's even worse. The horse ain't got no legs. You need some toys. He got legs. And why is he in the fucking wagon? Who's pulling the wagon? That car's gonna sit there like this and not do nothing. <laughs> At least you can pretend the boy in the wagon, he's, if he had a horse, he could go. But the horse... Look at him trying to do it and go around in circles. Look at that. They can't decide where they want to go. Really? I love it. I am so stuck on Thimbleweed Park, I could just kill myself. <laughs> Ain't got anything cool in this bitch yet? Everything in here is cool, you little motherfucker. You better watch your tone when you talk to me. Why did you tell those kids that all of their toys were bad? Why did you talk to those kids with all that disrespect? Be honest. That's what my mama always told me. You always need to be honest. So I'm be honest. And if they don't like the shit, I'm going to tell you I don't like the shit. You don't listen to her nothing else. <laughs> Why would you listen to her for that, you little monster? <laughs> I have, like, every toy, you know. I should know what's cool and what's not cool, and I know what's gonna suck and what's not gonna and suck. And you have all the food too, you little bitch. Look like Eric Cartman. And everything in this bitch sucks because it was because <laughs> it was last year's toys. Look, you little punk. Just because you don't like it, don't mean it's stupid. You better watch how you talk to me, cause you could get a knot on the corner of your head. Maybe you don't know who I am, but I am Paige from Snugford, motherfucker. I will break both of your legs and then turn around and kick your ass while you're waiting for your mama before she even know it. Keep fucking with me. Whatever. Oh, shit. 
That's that's the trigger Let word. Me, go trigger on. warning. I see she was running. Go I, get him for me. If she had ran up to him, that would be hilarious. <laughs> go get him for me, Paige, honey. <laughs> she had to leave. Brad, did you make a friend? No, he made an enemy. And let's check out 22. We're going to do 23, 24, and 22. We're just making it last. We're dragging it out. I want to be playing Emily's Christmas Carol for, th for Labor Day. Like the Jerry Lewis telethon used to be on all I night. I hate you so much right <laughs> now. I hate you so much. I'm going to buy this little motherfucker right here. No. The train go uh, faster. No, you should have saved it for the stupid that thing. What's that? No. Oh, make the customers be patient. What's this? Ugh. I'm happy. <clears throat> Don't stand still for more than eight seconds. Good luck with that. Is Emily not cleaning for me in this level? My hip. She's not. Time is ticking, honey. Just keep walking around. Oh, dear. Time is ticking. Oh, my arthritis. I better take my medicine. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wasn't made for this, you know. Hold oh, my dear. Mm. I found a secret. I don't even know what I clicked on. I was trying to click on the train. I have to play this back. No! Her minutes are going down while I'm loading. The hell kind of shit is that? They always they get you. They sneaky out there. I'm telling you, they sneaky. Horse in a cart. It's ridiculous. I'm, my dick wants to laugh. A horse in a cart. <laughs> I like horses in carts. It's the stupidest toy ever. That's a misfit toy. Whoever heard of a lion don't roar? Whoever heard of a horse in a cart? <laughs> I'm you sure he wasn't You're a misfit stupid. toy? you stupid. He was a misfit toy. He wants to be a dentist. You just letting your money just go drip, dripping down the drain. Rudy! Look at this. A, a dude on a horse with two wheels. That makes sense. No, the horse having wheel feet does not make sense. <laughs> it makes more sense than the horse being in the cart. That just offends me on a certain level. <laughs> no, no the horse being toy. in the cart makes more sense. Who's going to pull that cart? <laughs> Nobody! <laughs> the horse is in the cart. It can't go anywhere. Bitch, maybe the horse is tired. Like, I'm tired. The horse is Nobody tired. Nobody has that toy. Bradley's right. That is a stupid toy. I tell you right now, I wish the fuck someone would put me in a cart and carry me But let me, me tell you something about these these toys right here. These are some solid-ass toys. They can put a, co a knot round the corner of Bradley's head with him. He better stop fucking around with these kids. Because kids got hot tempers. They'll hit him with the toy in their hand, and he will not. He will whelp up. Stop! Who, me? No, she wouldn't stop loading the toys. And, and the minutes was just rolling. And I was... <laughs> you didn't want to hear that noise, did you? No. I don't have your wagon yet. The, the wagon. She mad as hell, too. Bitch, put my wagon together. I want a stupid toy. Give me the horse at the cart. I like the horse with the cart. I'd, I would be one of those kids that would want a horse in a cart. No, you would never want a horse in a cart because you would say, that's dumb. Who's going to pull it? You know what? You would get it because you always got the misfit toys. That's yeah. why you like it. Because you always buy the ones that are so wrong. <laughs> you look for them. Because nobody will like adopt it. them. That just tells you how big your heart is. You have a really big heart. In the meantime, I'm offended. This bitch, all of them want misfit toys. Well, the ball's not that misfit. The pad on the ball, ball is fucked up. I can't even fuck with that ball. <laughs> Too anal to fuck with that no, ball? No, it fit. It doesn't make sense. I just don't like that red stripe on top of there. I don't like it. Well, it's because the pattern's repeating over. It should be green. You can see the other side of that? No, it doesn't. No, because the green. So that is right. The ball is right. Yeah, see, it, they it's got repeating. it right. Horse in a cart. Those angels are fucking me up, though. They're little the, butterfly little wings. wings. I think they're Angels cute. don't have wings like that. They look like they have dragonfly wings. 
These ain't, you know what? If you don't stop telling me what shit don't have. Move, bitch! Who's to say angels don't have that? I ain't never seen an angel, so I don't and know. And you never will. These Ooh, angels bitch. are scary. Are you trying to say I'm going to hell? Yes. In a big way. Your mama. Yes, your mama's my mama. So what? Well, she would agree with me. <laughs> All right. That's another episode of Emily in the can. We only have two, 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 one, two, three, two, 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 I doubt that. You know what? I was getting ready to say I need to move because it's been eight seconds. Woo-hoo! Yeah. <laughs> okay. Tune they, in. they got you. Tune in tomorrow at five o'clock. We have new videos every day at five o'clock. Five o'clock. Five o'clock. <laughs> Santa. <laughs> Oh, sweet Jesus. Take two. Whew. Tune in tomorrow at 5 o'clock. We have new videos every day at 5 o'clock, and that is Eastern Time. Like, comment, and subscribe, please. And we'll a place for you on the couch. Bye. Bye. Can't believe I said that shit. That's fucked up. You is fucked up. <sighs> Sushi! <laughs> <laughs>